Hi everyone, I'm Elise Engler and I'm an artist and art specialist at Battery Park City Authority. And today I want to show you how you can make a paper mache animal using what you have recycled. I'm going to start by cutting this cardboard into some rectangles. These are going to be the legs, so I need four of these. What I need to do is roll them into a cylinder. That's going to be one leg. Now you need a little masking tape. Tape it up. I don't know what kind of animal this is going to be. I, I don't really don't know, but it's going to turn into something I know. I'm going to decide as I make it. The, the really important thing to do is to cut these little flaps here because that way I have a, some place to put the tape when I'm attaching the legs. So here is one leg and I've got to make it good and strong so I'm going to use more tape than you might think you need to just so it doesn't fall off. Okay, there's one leg. Now I'm going to start thinking about the head. What should I use? I think I'm going to make another cylinder for the head, only this time it's going to be wider and shorter. And tape it up and then I'm going to tape it on. I'm hoping it's going to look like a kind of like a donkey. Let's see. Need some tape. I'll trim it off in a minute. The nice thing about paper mache is it hides all the things you want to hide. You can smooth it out, and you can any shape you make with this underlying structure will be there. But you can change it with the, the wet paper mache. So it looks like an anteater. If I do this. Cut out two ears, kind of uh, oval shapes, long ovals. How's that? Here? There he is, ready for some glue. Now I'm going to mix my paper mache. So I'm going to use some flour. I've got about a cup of water here, and I'm going to put in. I don't measure, I just do it so it's about uh, sort of medium thick porridge consistency. And I'm going to add some Elmer's glue too just to make it a little extra strong. So now I've got to cover this whole animal with paper. This paper tears really well in one direction, then you take one piece at a time and you dip it into the paper mache and you cover the whole animal with one piece of it at a time. And every time you put the piece down, you make it smooth as can be. I think I'm going to put him upside down and do his legs. I'm going to take pieces of newspaper, dip it in the glue, dip it in this paper mache, squeegee it off, and wrap it around the legs and make it nice and smooth until the whole animal is covered. Wrap it around his head. But I think he is paper mache. Soon, I gotta let him dry, probably up to take about a day, and then he'll be ready to paint. So that tawny brown color has dried and now I'm going to make him look a little bit furry. So I'm going to take a brush and just take a bit of paint and put some dabs of this different color brown and I'm going to make it a little darker just dab. So he looks kind of furry. Still not sure what he is but I think he's going to become some kind of deer. Here comes the black around his hooves. Just dabbing around. Put 
into pink in these ears. Just a little bit of paint under, under his belly, just to give him a little white there. And a little white under his tail. So there he is, coming along. And as soon as this, as this paint is dry, I will add the glued details. So now the paint has dried and there's one, two more things to do. I'm going to give him some eyes. So I'm using a hot glue gun, but you could also use just some Elmer's glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and I'm going to use a button. So now he's got eyes so he can see. And now he needs his antlers. I'm going to use a couple of pipe cleaners. And again, a bit of hot glue here. Put the antler there and I'm going to hold it for a minute so it sticks. And there he is. He's a moose. He became a moose. So, what is this moose made of? He's made out of a yogurt or a kefir container, some cardboard cereal box, newspaper, paint, uh, flour and glue, two buttons and two pipe cleaners. From those materials that you would be recycling, you can have a moose or any animal you like. Okay, Mr. Moose, say goodbye to everybody out there. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you all make some paper mache animals really soon. Bye everyone.